हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर सर्च ऑफिसर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नॉमी एट जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर उत्तराखंड हाउ नाइट्रोजन इज मिनरलाइज इन सॉइल नाइट्रोजन इज प्रजेंट इन ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एंड ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इज सोर्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन अबाउट नाइन्टी फाइव टू नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट नाइट्रोजन इज प्रजेंट इन ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एंड दिस नाइट्रोजन इज प्रजेंट मेनली इन प्रोटीन फॉर्म When organic matter is decomposed by microbes, then this protein is converted into amino acids, then ammonium and nitrate. So it is a long process. So organic form of nitrogen, that is protein, is converted into inorganic form, and this process is called mineralization. So mineralization is the process of conversion of organic form of nutrient into inorganic form. When plant absorb the nutrient, generally nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur. these converted into organic form like nitrogen in protein phosphorus in phytic acid and atp adp nucleic acid sulfur in proteins so these organic forms are not utilized absorbed by the plant when these are present in soil to jo plants use karte hain nutrient ko inorganic form mein hone chahiye agar protein soil mein hai to plant usko use nahi kar sakte amino acids ko bhi as such use nahi kar pate hain nucleic acids ko bhi use nahi kar pate hain तो किसी भी न्यूट्रेंट का इनऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म में होना जरूरी है फॉर एग्जांपल नाइट्रोजन इज एब्जॉर्ब बाय द प्लांट इन नाइट्रेट एंड अमोनियम फास्फोरस इन फॉर्म ऑफ एस टू पी फोर एच पी ओ फोर सल्फेट आयन फॉर सल्फर कैल्शियम आयन मैग्नीशियम आयन बट इन ऑर्गेनिक मैटर दीज न्यूट्रिएंट्स आर प्रेजेंट इन ऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म मीन्स दे आर इन कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म बाइंड विद द कार्बन चेन तो जो ऑर्गेनिक मैटर में न्यूट्रेंट्स होते हैं वो कार्बन चेन के साथ कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्म में रहते हैं और इसी फॉर्म को हम ऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म कहते हैं तो जनरली वेन प्लांट्स एब्जॉर्ब दिस अमोनियम और नाइट्रेट बाय द रूट इट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेड टू लीव्स एंड देन दिस नाइट्रेट एंड अमोनियम कन्वर्टेड इन टू अमिनो एसिड्स अमिनो एसिड्स मेक पॉलीपेप्टाइड्स एंड पॉलीपेप्टाइड्स चेन मेक द प्रोटीन एंड नाइट्रोजन इज प्रेजेंट इन प्रोटीन फॉर्म वेन दर इज ए लीव फॉल और रूट और शूट एंड दी कन्वर्टेड इन टू ऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म अब जब ये एब्जॉर्ब हो जाता है अमोनियम नाइट्रेट तो ये प्रोटीन बनाता है नाउ इट इज प्रेजेंट इन प्लांट पार्ट वेदर इट इज रूट शूट लीव्स स्टेम ब्रांचेस सो इट मीन्स द प्रोटीन इज प्रेजेंट इन प्लांट पार्ट और वी कैन से इट इज प्रेजेंट इन ऑर्गेनिक मैटर ऑर्गेनिक मैटर एंड दिस ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इज प्रेजेंट इन सॉइल आफ्टर द डेथ ऑफ प्लांट देन दिस प्रोटीन अगेन converted back into this mineral form and this process conversion of protein to mineral form means this ammonium or nitrate form means inorganic form is called mineralization so exact what is the process so pro nitrogen is present in organic form and uh, microbes are involved in decomposition so this mineralization process take place during the decomposition and decomposition is carried by microbes bacteria fungus ectomycetes a number of microbes are involved but major contribution by Uh, bacteria number of bacteria are involved in decomposition fungi are also involved actinomycetes are also involved so first of all there is a uh, conversion of protein into polypeptide actually protein are composed of uh, um, many uh, polypeptide chains are there and it make uh, proteins so first is hydrolysis is there it react with the water so first process is hydrolysis and by the hydrolysis lysis means break down hydro means in presence of water so break down into polypeptide so polypeptide formation is there means this protein break down into polypeptide to so, ye water ke sath reaction hoga protein ka water ko absorb karengi aur wo protein jo polypeptide chain ki bani ho polypeptide chains alag ho jayengi and microbes are involved there is a, uh, there uh, microbes are must bina microbes ke uh, organic matter decomposition nahi hota hai मैंने माइक्रोस बताया कौन से हैं बैक्टीरिया हैं फंगस ना एक्टोमाइसिटीज हैं देन अनदर स्टेप इज दिस पॉलीपेप्टाइड्स एक्चुअली आर कंपोज ऑफ मैनी एमिनो एसिड्स तो ट्वेंटी एमिनो एसिड्स आर देयर व्हिच मेक दिस पॉलीपेप्टाइड बाय पेप्टाइड फॉर्मेशन तो जो कार्बन का आइटम है कार्बन और नाइट्रोजन के आइटम जोड़ करके पॉलीपेप्टाइड बनाते हैं पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड्स होते हैं तो ये जो पॉलीपेप्टाइड्स हैं इनका पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड ब्रेक होता है एमिनो एसिड्स रिलीज होते हैं ट्वेंटी टाइप ऑफ एमिनो एसिड्स आज एयर लाइसिन टिप्टोफेन मिथिन मिथिनिन सिस्टाइन सिस्टाइन बहुत एमिनो एसिड्स हैं ट्वेंटी टाइप्स ऑफ एमिनो एसिड्स आर देयर सो दिस इज द कन्वर्जन ऑफ पॉलीपेप्टाइड इन टू एमिनो एसिड्स एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एमिनाइजेशन एंड दिस टेक प्लेस ऑल्सो 
in the presence of microbes. So bacteria, fungus, bacteria uh, are involved in conversion of polypeptide into amino acids. So what process will happen in protein polypeptide? What is this all in the soil? Who is doing it? Who is doing it? Microbes are doing it. Water must be. पॉलीपेप्टाइड किसमें टूटेंगे अमीनो एसिड्स में टूटेंगे और कितने अमीनो एसिड्स हैं 20 अमीनो एसिड्स हैं वो टूट के सोइल में आ जाएंगे एंड दैट प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एमिनेशन इस प्रोसेस को एमिनेशन कहते हैं देन अमीनो एसिड्स जो भी रिलीज अब सोइल के अंदर रिलीज हुए जो भी अमीनो एसिड्स हैं दे आर कन्वर्टेड इनटू अमोनियम आयन एंड दिस प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड अमोनिफिकेशन सो अमोनिफिकेशन इज कन्वर्जन ऑफ कन्वर्जन ऑफ अमीनो एसिड्स इनटू अमोनियम आयन नाउ दिस इज द Mineral form, this is the inorganic form which is absorbed by the plant. So amino acids in organic form, polypeptide, organic form, protein, organic form. So these are organic forms. So first inorganic form is ammonium ion. And bacteria are involved, fungus is involved. Mainly bacteria are involved in nitrogen mineralization. Then ammonium is present. Now this ammonium is used by the plant. It, this is also used by microbes. So this ammonium will be plants and microbes. Bhi lete then ammonium ion is converted first into nitrite NO2 minus then into nitrate ion and this is two step process this is the first step in which ammonium is converted into nitrite then this is the second process nitrite this is nitrite R I T E this is R A T E so this is the spelling difference NO2 is nitrite and NO3 is nitrate. So this is two step process. So this process is known as nitrification because nitrate ions are formed. So this is the two step process. Ammonium ions are converted into nitrite then nitrate ion. But this nitrite are toxic. Then this nitrite rapidly converted into nitrate ion and this process is taken place by the help of bacteria. In the first process nitrosomonas bacteria is dominant. Other bacteria are also present, but the major one is nitrosomonas and it is generally asked in examination. Nitrosomonas is important, it is also other ones, nitrosomonas is also nitrosomonas, but the major hai, that is nitrosomonas. And in this, it is the nitrobacter. So in first step, nitrosomonas, in second step, nitrobacter is involved. Actually, this is the oxidation. This NH4 is converted into O2 so here it is the uh, oxygen is involved so here oxygen is involved so it is oxidation process so nitrification is oxidation process and mediated by nitrosomonas so this biological oxidation we can say this is biological uh, oxidation and bacteria presence is must if bacteria is not this process will not and this process second process is faster than first process the result is that nitrites do not accumulate into the soil. So, this second process is very fast. Hota hai. Nitrites and nitrate are made. And this ammonium is made. So, the nitrite is made. It is converted into nitrate. So, this is why this nitrite does not accumulate in the soil. If it accumulates, then it is toxic for plants. So, this problem will create. Karega. But in soil, aerobic conditions are there. That's why this is the fast process. So, oxygen is must. And this oxygen is available when there is aerobic condition. Tilled field is there. If we have tillage kar hai, proper aeration, then this process is fast. Hoga. Suppose there are anaerobic conditions like water logging is there, wet is there, heavy rains are there, heavy irrigations are there. There is deficiency of oxygen. Then anaerobic condition exists and then this process becomes slow. So in such conditions, nitrification is slow. So when we have tillage, we have to intercultivation, karte rehte hai, ya water logging is not there, this process is fast hota hai, aur nitrate present rehta hai. So this is the reason that ammonium converted into nitrate ion under aerobic condition. So jobhi generally hamaayi soil mein aerobic condition hi hoti hai kyunki paani nahi bhara rehta, water condition nahi hoti hai, tabhi hoogi anaerobic jau us mein paani bhara ho. So ye reason hota hai generally hamaayi field mein ammonium ion ka concentration ka rahega, kam rahega kyunki this ammonium is converted into nitrate ion and nitrate ion dominate over ammonium ion. So isi kaan se plants kisko lete hai phir? Nitrate ko lete hai kyunki inki dominance jada hai. But this nitrate ion is subjected to leaching. अगर नाइट्रेट आयन एब्जॉर्ब नहीं हुए प्लांट ने नहीं लिए तो क्या होता है लीच कर जाते हैं तो ये अगर नाइट्रिफिकेशन प्रोसेस इज फास्ट देन देयर आर चांसेस दैट नाइट्रेट में लीच डाउन सो दिस इज द प्रोसेस दैट हाउ ऑर्गेनिक फॉर्म ऑफ नाइट्रोजन प्रोटीन इज कन्वर्टेड इनटू अमोनियम आयन एंड नाइट्रेट आयन एंड बैक्टीरिया इन्वॉल्वमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड द बैक्टीरिया वर्क एट पीएच वेरी पीएच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट 
neutral to slightly alkaline condition. So the favorable condition for this condition is uh, first is oxidized condition, oxidized condition in mineralization is fast. Number two, soil pH is very important. Actually, pH neutral to slightly alkaline. If pH is uh, seven to uh, eight, in between seven to eight. Uh, then this reaction is fast. We can say mineralization is fast because major contribution is by bacteria. So the natural transformation is maximum bacteria. It's not that the fungus is involved, but the contribution of fungus is very less. Under acidic conditions, this bacteria activity will be less. So mineralization will be less. So natural availability will be poor. Third uh, one is the temperature is very important factor. Actually, this is total is microbial process. And this fungus, bacteria, nitrosomonas, nitrobacter, actually these are mesophilic. Ek inko medium range ka temperature chahiye, na bahut kam chahiye, na bahut jyada chahiye. So temperature range is about 25 to 35 degree centigrade. Then this mineralization process is fast. So these are the favorable conditions which favor the, uh, this uh, nitrogen mineralization. So nitrogen mineralization is decomposition of organic matter and during the decomposition, Nitrogen is present in organic form that is protein. Protein is converted into ammonium ion and nitrate ion and this process is called nitrogen mineralization. So first process hydrolysis, then aminization, formation of amino acids, then ammonification, then nitrification. And this nitrification is two step process under oxidized condition, temperature range 25 to 35 and neutral pH. So if this condition is Oxygen ki availability hai, matlab gaseous exchange ho raha hai, air ki availability hai, temperature 25 to 35 hai, na bahut thand hai, na bahut jyada garmi hai, khet mein paani nahi bharo hua hai, to ye ornamental decomposition fast hoga, mineralization fast hoga, aur nitrogen ki availability badegi. And in winter season, temperature is about 8 degree centigrade, 10 degree centigrade, that's why decomposition is slow, vector activity is slow, micro activity is slow, nitrogen mineralization is slow, that's why in winter season, uh, the availability of nitrogen from organic matter become very slow. So, this is the winter season mein nitrogen ki availability kam ho jati hai kyunki mineralization slow ho raha hai. So, these are the different process which are involved in nitrogen mineralization and important one that it is aminization and this is ammonification. Sometimes it is uh, called as uh, um, uh, aminification. Uh, we aminification bhi sakte hai, amino acids ban rahe hai, aur ye ammonification hai. So important one, aminization, uh, ammonification, then nitrification. So in examination, the series may be asked, what is the correct series of nitrogen mineralization? It is start with the hydrolysis, then aminization, second one is ammonification, then last one is nitrification. So ye kisi examination of the series bhi pooch sakte hai, ki isko series se lagaiye, ki konsa process pehle hota hai. So this is the nitrogen mineralization means organic form of nitrogen that is protein is converted into mineral form means mineral form means inorganic ions that is ammonium and nitrate and these ions are absorbed by the plant not the protein and the other organic form are nucleic acid DNA RNA amino sugars are also present but these organic forms are not absorbed by the plant only ammonium or nitrate are absorbed by the plant that's why nitrogen mineralization is necessary for the nitrogen supply. If organic matter is there and protein uh, are present, nitrogen present in organic matter in the form of protein, but there is slow decomposition, then availability of nitrogen will be poor. So that's why uh, these conditions are uh, required for proper supply of nitrogen, uh, which provide the nitrogen through nitrogen mineralization. Thank you very much.